If you want to try out Android O, you basically have two options. You can install the developer preview on a compatible Nexus or Pixel device if you have one, or you could run the developer preview on your computer using an emulator. Running Android O in the emulator is pretty cool because it works on almost any PC, and it's a super simple and easy way to try out Android O. So if you're interested in test driving Android O on your PC, then definitely stay tuned. First, you're going to have to head over to the Android developer site and download Android Studio 2.4 Preview 7. After you click the link in the video description below, you'll be taken straight to the download page where you can then click the download button. After you agree to the terms and conditions, the download should start. The zip file is about 543 megabytes, so it might take a few minutes to download. After the download is complete, you'll want to extract the zip file to either your desktop or downloads. I've chosen to extract the zip file to downloads, and as you can see, we are currently in the process of extracting the zip file. Once the extraction is complete, you'll want to navigate to the extracted folder, then open the bin folder. Inside this folder, you'll find studio.exe and studio64.exe, which are intended for 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows respectively. If you aren't sure whether you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit version of Windows, I'll drop a link in the video description below that should help. Anyway, go ahead and run the right version of the program for your PC, and after a few seconds you'll be greeted by an installer. So just advance through the installer until the installation is complete. It really doesn't matter what settings you choose for the installation. After Android Studio installs, you'll be greeted by a welcome screen. Here you'll want to click Start a new Android Studio project. On the following screens, just keep clicking Next until you reach the screen with the Finish button. Go ahead and click Finish, wait for your project to process, and you're almost ready to launch the emulator. At the bottom of the window, you'll see a progress bar and the text scanning files to index. Keep patient and wait until the scanning is complete and the progress bar disappears. After this happens, go ahead and click Tools at the top of the screen, select Android, then select AVD Manager. Now click Create Virtual Device. At the next screen, select Pixel, then click Next. At the next screen, you'll need to choose the Android version that will be running on the emulator. There are two options for Android O, Google APIs, and Google Play. I personally recommend that you download the Google Play version of Android O by clicking the download button. After the download completes, click Next, then click Finish to add the virtual device to the AVD Manager. From here, we can click the Play button to launch the virtual device in the emulator, and at this point, we're done. The emulator will launch, and the virtual device will appear running Android O. If you need some ideas for cool new features in Android O to try out with the emulator, feel free to check out the video I made covering that. But besides that, thanks for watching, please subscribe to Arium TV, and I will see you guys in the next video.